Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to talk about Mallet Aspartate Shuttle. So to start with the background, I first want to talk about the cellular respiration and when it comes to glycolysis, cellular respiration is broken down into four different stages. In glycolysis, which takes place in the cytosol, one molecule of glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate. And during the process, it also generates two NADH in the cytosol. Now second stage is the oxidation of pyruvate. So oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate converts pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme A and this reaction takes place in the mitochondrial matrix and during the reaction it also generates 2 NADH. These are supposed to be 2 NADH because the initial reaction involves 2 molecules of pyruvate. Now third stage is the oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A and this reaction is carried out through TCA cycle or citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle and during the reaction acetyl coenzyme enzyme A is oxidized into carbon dioxide and the electrons which are liberated through these oxidative processes are passed on to coenzymes such as NAD and FAD which are then reduced to NADH and FADH2 and this reaction also takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. And last stage is the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation and during this reaction FA NAD uh, and FADH2 as well as NADH from oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate reaction give up their electrons to electron transport chain to synthesize ATP. Now one important thing to remember that NADH used in the electron transport chain is generated in the mitochondrial matrix. However, NADH is also generated in the cytosol through glycolysis process. But the biggest problem is NADH just simply cannot cross the mitochondrial matrix to be oxidized to synthesize ATP. So the question is what happens to the cytosolic NADH and how is it oxidized to synthesize ATP in the mitochondria? So during glycolysis, when glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, during the reaction, NAD plus is reduced to NADH. And remember that if this NADH is not oxidized to regenerate NAD plus, the glycolytic pathway would cease to function due to the unavailability of NAD plus. So one very important reason for NADH to oxidize is to regenerate NAD plus in order for glycolysis to continue. And to regenerate NAD plus, NADH must be oxidized. And there are basically two different ways how NADH could be oxidized. Now one is during anaerobic pathway. So during anaerobic condition, pyruvate is converted into lactate with the help of lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. And during the reaction, NADH is oxidized into NAD+. And this NAD is then useful in the glycolysis reaction. Now in aerobic condition, NADH must be oxidized into NAD+ via respiratory chain or electron transport chain. However, as I mentioned, NADH just simply cannot pass the mitochondrial membrane to be oxidized into NAD+. So one way to resolve this issue is electrons from NADH are carried across mitochondrial membrane but not NADH itself. So basically what I mean by is, suppose here we have NADH in the cytosol and it is carrying these electrons. So NADH is oxidized into NAD+. An electron from this NADH are then carried across the mitochondrial membrane and in the mitochondria these electrons are then passed on to NAD plus and NAD plus is then reduced to NADH. So basically we are regenerating this NADH into mitochondria and once this NADH is regenerated it is then going to give up its electron to electron transport chain to synthesize ATP. So now the question is how is this cytoplasmic NADH oxidized into mitochondria to synthesize ATP? So basically there is a shuttle system which helps carrying these electrons from cytoplasmic NADH into the mitochondria. And there are two different types of shuttle and one of these shuttles is called mallet aspartate shuttle. And through this shuttle, electrons from NADH uh, in the cytosol, they are carried across the mitochondrial membrane through mallet aspartate shuttle. And in the mitochondria, these electrons are passed on to NAD+, which is then reduced to NADH. And this NADH is then gives up it, its electron to respiratory chain to synthesize ATP. As we have learned before that one NADH 
synthesizes 2.5 molecules of ATP. So basically through mallet aspartate shuttle, one cytosolic NADH synthesizes 2.5 molecules of ATP in the mitochondria. Now this shuttle operates heavily in the heart, liver and kidneys. Now let's talk about how this shuttle works. So here we have NADH from glycolysis that is in the cytosol. So this is basically a cytosolic NADH and this is the cytosol and this is the mitochondrial matrix part and this is the inner mitochondrial membrane. So the first step in this mallet aspartate shuttle is it requires oxaloacetate and oxaloacetate basically acquires electrons from cytosolic NADH and gets reduced into mallet. And the reaction is catalyzed by mallet dehydrogenase enzyme which is actually the cytosolic enzyme. And once oxaloacetate is reduced to mallet, this mallet from the cytosol is then transported across mitochondrial membrane to enter into mitochondrial matrix. And during the reaction, while oxaloacetate is acquiring electrons from NADH, NADH is oxidized to NAD+, and this NAD+, is then entered into glycolysis pathway and ensures that glycolysis pathway is continued to function. So basically the electrons are carried in the form of mallet from cytosol to mitochondrial matrix. Now once inside the mitochondrial matrix, through reverse reaction, mallet is then converted back into oxaloacetate with the help of mitochondrial mallet dehydrogenase enzyme. And during the reaction, electrons from mallet is then passed on to NAD+, and which is then reduced to NADH. So here we have regenerated NADH and this NADH then enters into electron transport chain to synthesize ATP. Now this oxaloacetate in the mitochondria cannot cross the mitochondrial membrane. Therefore oxaloacetate must be transaminated to convert it into aspartate and the reaction is catalyzed by aspartate amino transferase. Now once oxaloacetate is transaminated into aspartate, this aspartate is now able to cross the mitochondrial membrane to enter into cytosol. Now the question is where does this amino group of aspartate come from and it is important to know that this amino group of aspartate is being donated by glutamate. So when glutamate is deaminated, basically when it donates its amino group to aspartate, glutamate is converted into alpha, ket uh, alpha ketoglutarate. And what happens to alpha ketoglutarate, we are going to talk about this shortly. I first want to quickly talk about what happens to aspartate once it is in the cytosol. So once inside the cytosol, aspartate is then transaminated to synthesize oxaloacetate. So basically we are able to now regenerate oxaloacetate in the cytosol. And the reaction is catalyzed by aspartoaminase uh, enzyme which is present in the cytosol. So once alpha ketoglutarate is synthesized in the mitochondria, it is then transported from mitochondria into cytosol in exchange for mallet through mallet alpha ketoglutarate transporter. Basically this is an antiporter. So what antiporter means is it is actually a protein which allows the transport of two molecules at the same time but in different directions. So mallet is transported from cytosol to mitochondria whereas alpha ketoglutarate is transported from mitochondria into cytosol. Now once alpha ketoglutarate is in the cytosol is then transaminated to form glutamate with the help of aspartate amino transferase and glutamate from cytosol is then transported in the mitochondria in exchange for aspartate through aspartate glutamate transporter and this is another antiporter which transports glutamate and aspartate at the same time in different direction. So this is basically the overview of mallet aspartate shuttle. So let me just quickly go through it again. Basically oxaloacetate in the cytosol acquires electron from NADH and reduced into mallet with the help of mallet dehydrogenase enzyme and during the reaction NADH is oxidized to NAD plus and NAD plus then enters into glycolysis. Now mallet which, which is synthesized in the cytosol is then entered into mitochondria and through reverse reaction mallet is then converted back into oxaloacetate with the help of mitochondrial mallet dehydrogenase enzyme. And in the reaction, mallet is then 
pass the electrons to NAD plus and NAD plus is then reduced to NADH which is then enter into a, which, which then enters into electron transport chain to synthesize ATP. Now oxaloacetate in the mitochondria cannot cross the mitochondrial me membrane therefore it must be transaminated to form aspartate with the help of aspartate amino transferase enzyme and the amino group on aspartate is donated by glutamate and during this deamination of glutamate glutamate is converted into alpha ketoglutarate now aspartate from the mitochondria is then be then able to cross the mitochondrial membrane to enter into cytosol now in the cytosol aspartate is then transaminated to oxaloacetate with the help of cytosolic aspartate amino transference enzyme now alpha ketoglutarate in the mitochondria is then transported into cytosol in exchange for malate with the help of malate alpha ketoglutarate transporter and in the cytosol alpha ketoglutarate is then transaminated to form glutamate now glutamate from cytosol enters into mitochondria in exchange for aspartate through aspartate glutamate transporter so this is basically the overview of malate aspartate shuttle now i also want to quickly talk about that once nadh is regenerated in the mitochondria through malate aspartate shuttle this NADH then gives up its electron to complex 1 and the electrons from complex 1 then travels from complex 1 to coenzyme Q to complex 3 to cytochrome C to complex 4 and finally to the final electron acceptor that is oxygen and during this process protons are being pumped out from the mitochondrial matrix into the inner uh, intermembrane space and these protons are uh, then passed through the complex 5 which is the ATP synthase enzyme and when the electrons pass through the ATP synthase enzyme ADP is phosphorylated to synthesize ATP and one NADH is able to synthesize 2.5 molecules of ATP. So this is basically the overview of malate aspartate shuttle where cytosolic NADH is oxidized into mitochondria to synthesize ATP. I really hope you learn something new from this video and if you do so then please like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon